What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm here today to give you guys a review of the Saucony 3D Grid Hurricane in the OG white and royal blue colorway. Today's video was sponsored by Heflux. Heflux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, you're going to find there's a suitable pair for everyone. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and to me, I personally find them to be extremely comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So first off, I want to give a huge shout out over to Saucony Canada for sending me over this pair. This is the recently released 3D Grid Hurricane Retro, which brings back this running silhouette that originally debuted back in 1997. So at the time, in the 90s, this was one of Saucony's most advanced running shoes. But 25 years later, these are much more of a lifestyle use shoe. And it's pretty wild to think that what was once considered a running shoe and a performance sneaker is now old enough that it's pretty cool to wear these for casual use. Anyways, so these retailed for a price of 120 US dollars or 140 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is white and royal. And this is much more of a niche sort of silhouette. From what I've seen at least, it's been sitting on a lot of sneaker stores websites. And it's much more of those if you know, you know sort of shoes. So diving straight into the details, the base layer of this shoe on the toe box, this is constructed out of a white colored mesh. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have this blue colored synthetic overlay which gives you added durability, and we have the Saucony logo embroidered on the lateral side. Overlaid on top of this, we have this genuine white colored leather, which feels very nice to the touch, and embroidered across it, we have this thick blue colored stitching. This same white leather covers the eyelets of the shoe as well, and then underneath this on the mid panel, we have this quilted style blue colored mesh, and once again overlaid on top of this, we have the Saucony logo, which is constructed out of that soft white leather. Moving downwards, we have more of that white colored leather which runs across the back of the shoe. And here we have 3D grid branding embroidered across. And underneath this, we have this woven layer, which from afar kind of looks like carbon fiber, but this is just a knitted black and white pattern. Moving on to the back, so we have more of this white colored leather, and we have Saucony embroidered across in white, along with a reflective silver 3M hit above it. As for the laces, so these come with two different lace options. The default or standard lace is a flat style lace in white, but they also give you a secondary royal blue colored lace as well. Underneath this, we have a mesh tongue, and at the very top, we have both Saucony and 3D grid branding embroidered in the center. As for the insoles, so these come with a very well padded foam insole. It's finished with a white colored textile on top, and we have Saucony 3D grid hurricane stamped on the heel in blue. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this full length EVA foam midsole. The midsole is primarily painted in white, but we have these vertical lines in blue found on the heel. And in case within this midsole, we have Saucony's The Grid Technology, which stands for Ground Reaction Inertia Device. So think of grid technology sort of like a tennis racket. So the purpose of it is to really give you a combination of impact protection and energy return. And according to the product description, this grid technology is supposed to be overlaid on top of the side of the midsole as well, which I assume to be these vertical lines on the heel. Call me crazy though, but I looked at OG pictures of this pair back in 1997, and it looks like they actually incorporated grid technology on the midsole. However, for this pair, I don't know if they just cheaped out, but this to me just looks like EVA foam that's sculpted, and then they painted these vertical lines across it. Turning the shoe over to the bottom though, so both the forefoot and the heel is covered in this black colored rubber. We have this triangular shaped traction pattern on the forefoot, the Saucony logo found on this foam layer in the middle, and we have the Saucony word mark on the heel. And on the heel itself, we also have this egg shaped window, which exposes the actual grid technology that's found within the midsole. So it shows you that it's definitely there. I just think they skipped out on wrapping it onto the midsole itself. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, overall these definitely fit me very well true to size, so that's what I recommend. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and Saucony Canada sent me over this in a size 10, and they fit me spot on. So even if your feet are a little bit wider, I think there's no problems sticking true to size with this pair. Next up in terms of the comfort, so this pair was okay from a comfort standpoint. Keep in mind, I did not run in these, I just walked around in them. But my initial impression is that it feels okay on feet. You can feel some of that step in comfort with the EVA foam underfoot. And I don't know if this is just a placebo, but I could feel the heel portion of the shoe really cradling my heel, which I assume that's the grid technology working in action. This is also a very lightweight and breathable sneaker as well, which makes it a great pair to wear in the summer. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so first off, material quality, I thought it was okay. 
This white leather that they used felt very nice. However, the rest of the shoe was pretty basic. Just a lot of meshes, a lot of synthetic materials. So nothing really that really amazed me. But for a 140 Canadian dollar shoe, I can't complain. And also from an overall craftsmanship and build standpoint, I really had no major flaws at all with this pair. There were some minor issues like some extra glue on the midsole, but that was really, really minor. And other than that, I had no other complaints. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. When Saucony originally announced they were bringing these back in retro form, I won't lie, I knew nothing about this sneaker, but the design of the shoe really caught my eye. I think this colorway specifically is really, really dope. I like the combination of the whites and the different shades of blue. I think they work well, really, really well together. And it's great to see Saucony releasing other silhouettes from their catalog, other than the usual shadows and jazz sort of models. I just think overall, for the price point especially, this is a great pickup. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this pair. What are your overall thoughts on the silhouette and the colorway? And is this a shoe you guys would pick up for the right price? Or is it really not your cup of tea? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram account at esco8. You can follow me on Twitter as well at sean.go. And be sure to visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Another huge thank you goes out to Saucony Canada. And I'll catch you guys all in my next review.